This is a tutorial to show you how to load Photoshop plugins. This is for the PC and for in particular graphicextra.com plugins. Now the address is here. I'm actually going to load them to a secondary plugin folder. I'm not going to use the primary plugin folder. Now just quickly go to the desktop at this point and normally plugins for Photoshop will go to here Adobe Photoshop CS4 and plugins folder that's in basically you will need admin privilege to add the plugins to this folder they're 8 bf files so you can add them there but instead I'm going to add them to the secondary folder and I've got a load of plugins already installed here just added them here stacks of 8 bf files they're from like I say from graphicextras.com and I'm actually going to go to create a secondary plugin part of those so edit preferences plugins and now when you go into there you will see additional plugins folder it's going to check that I'll come up with a panel that I can now just go to desktop of course you can put them anywhere so you don't have to actually put them there plugin pf now this will start up Obviously next time when you start up Photoshop, as it says here, changes will take effect the next time you start Photoshop. Click OK. Exit there. Nope. Quickly start Photoshop, CS4 again. Scanning for plugins. Now there's about 100, was 180 plugins in the uh, complete graphic extra set. So now all those plugins will be should be picked up so I'm just going to create a file and a filter and then you will see all the plugins here now it's probably much nicer to actually have a secondary file because basically if you've got say like paint shop pro or some other application you can actually point the plugin put all the plugins in one place so you've got say like Photoshop CS5 CS4 etc you can you don't have to change all the position of all the plugins if you use that secondary path so just quickly start a plugin up and there's the plugin there.